Karen Lowen is a 52-year-old mother of two from Malvern in Worcestershire, England. She shares her life with her husband, Graham, 47, and their children, Thomas, 28, and Emmy, 23. Formerly a tax accountant, Lowen now runs an accounting software company called Doddle. When Lowen was 48, she faced thyroid issues, and her doctor recommended adding cardio to her fitness regime. In December 2013, she joined the Malvern Splash Leisure Complex Gym, paying $45 a month. Little did she know, this membership would lead to an unexpected turn of events. Cardio exercises, such as walking or running on a treadmill, are designed to raise your heart rate. Lowen started using the treadmill in the traditional manner, but soon discovered a more enjoyable way to work out. In February 2014, she began dancing on the treadmill instead of jogging or running. This new routine not only made her workouts more fun, but also effectively increased her heart rate. While treadmill dancing is more common in the US than in the UK, Lowen took to it naturally due to her extensive dance background. She started ballet at the age of five and later pursued ballroom and Latin dancing as an adult. Her treadmill routines typically include salsa, disco, and Latin moves. I found it quite easy and fun, she told Esther the Lance in 2014. I just danced to whatever was on at the gym. On March 28, 2014, Lowen went to the gym and started her usual treadmill dance routine. However, she was soon approached by a staff member and informed that she could not use the machine in that manner. Lowen was surprised and disappointed by this restriction. I was told I wasn't walking or running in a prescribed manner, she explained to Esther Villanis. She said because of health and safety, I was posing a risk to myself and others. Lowen found the staff's concerns exaggerated. I didn't think there's any chance of me hurting myself. It's not as if I was swinging from the handlebars. It's health and safety gone mad. Despite the gym's concerns, Lowen was confident in the safety of her dance workouts. Her experience in dance gave her a good sense of balance and control, minimizing any risk of injury. However, the gym's strict policies left her with no choice but to stop her treadmill dancing. The incident at Malvern Splash Leisure Complex highlights a broader debate about gym safety regulations versus personal freedom in workout routines. While gyms must ensure the safety of their patrons, it's also essential to consider the individual capabilities and experiences of gym goers like Lowen. After being barred from dancing on the treadmill, Lowen had to find alternative ways to enjoy her cardio workouts. She continued to emphasize the importance of making fitness enjoyable, which is crucial for maintaining long-term health and wellness. Her story serves as a reminder that finding joy in exercise can significantly impact one's motivation and overall fitness journey. Karen Lowen's experience also underscores the need for gyms to balance safety protocols with flexibility in accommodating diverse workout styles. By recognizing and supporting unique fitness approaches, gyms can create a more inclusive and motivating environment for all members. Ultimately, Lowen's story is a testament to the importance of creativity and enjoyment in fitness. Her passion for dancing, even in the face of obstacles, highlights the value of pursuing activities that bring joy and fulfillment. For Lowen, dancing on the treadmill was more than just exercise. It was a way to reconnect with her love for dance and maintain her health. Karen Lowen's journey from a traditional treadmill workout to an unexpected dance routine and the subsequent pushback she faced offers valuable insights into the complexities of gym culture and the importance of finding personal enjoyment in fitness. Her story encourages others to explore unconventional approaches to exercise, reminding us all that staying active can and should be a fun and rewarding experience. Karen Lowen has always asserted that her treadmill dancing never involved risky maneuvers. It's really just a combination of walking and running, she explained to the Worcester News in 2014. The riskiest thing I've ever done is go sideways. I've never turned fully around. When the gym suggested she dance in a studio instead of on the treadmill, Lowen declined. She wasn't interested in using any other equipment. 
I was quite shocked because I would have thought running was far more dangerous, and I certainly wasn't doing anything that energetic, she told Estelianes. At that moment, Lowen was asked to leave the gym. The gym employee said, I will walk down with you, implying that I was being escorted out. There were about six people in there, and it was awful and embarrassing, she shared. Everyone active, the company managing Malvern Splash Gym, stated they were following health and safety protocols. Our primary concern is the safety of our customers while they are using our facilities, a spokesperson said to SWNS. In this particular instance, we felt that Mrs. Lowen's movements on the treadmill were putting her at risk of injury, so we offered her alternative space for her activities. The spokesperson continued, after she declined this offer, we had no choice but to ask Mrs. Lowen to stop her activity on the treadmill. We always try to accommodate the different activities our members want to perform, but felt that this particular activity was unsafe. Lowen's unique workout method sparked a debate online. Next time just run on it like a normal person. I don't know why people at the gym need to reinvent the equipment all the time. Another person criticized her dancing as pointless and stupid, saying it would distract them from their training. Lowen responded, I'm a private person, and usually I go to the gym early when there aren't many people around. I do it because I enjoy it, and it keeps me coming back. I'm sorry if I would put you off what you enjoy doing. She also received messages of support. One person wrote, Go on girl, do your thing. They are just jealous because they can't walk and chew gum at the same time. You do you. Before the incident, Lowen had been using the gym three times a week. After being removed, she decided not to return and canceled her membership at Malvern Splash. She even considered giving up gym workouts altogether. However, rather than giving up, Lowen decided to try another local facility, the Malvern Spa Hotel. Before joining, she arranged a meeting with the gym manager to ensure her treadmill dancing would be allowed. Lowen was pleased to hear that her unique exercise routine was approved. I went to the Malvern Spa to ask them about it, and they said it sounds amazing, we would be more than happy, Lowen told Esta Vanets. They invited me to do a demo, and they loved it and said it's fine for me to do at their gym. She added, they welcomed me with open arms. So a happy ending, eventually. This experience underscores the importance of finding an enjoyable and motivating exercise routine. Lowen's story illustrates that perseverance can lead to new opportunities despite setbacks. It also highlights the need for fitness centers to balance safety protocols with accommodating diverse workout styles. Karen Lowen's journey is a testament to the value of creativity and enjoyment in fitness. Her passion for dancing, even when faced with obstacles, emphasizes the importance of pursuing activities that bring joy and fulfillment. For Lowen, dancing on the treadmill was more than just a workout. It was a way to reconnect with her love for dance and maintain her health. Ultimately, her story encourages others to explore unique and enjoyable ways to stay active, showing that fitness can be both effective and fun. By finding a supportive environment at the Malvern Spa, Lowen was able to continue her beloved treadmill dancing, demonstrating that with persistence and creativity, one can overcome challenges and find happiness in their fitness journey.